I pray by a power that this world does not know. I fast by a power that humanity is not aware of. Apostle, I'm struggling with sickness. Go to that which is written. Open your Bible. Find out there were sick people in the Bible who were healed. What did they do? This world is not designed for spirits. It's a three-dimensional framework of existence. Three-dimensional entity. So in case a spirit has jurisdiction within this context, a man permitted that spirit to function. In fact, prayer is earthly permission for heavenly interference. The spirituality of life. Please write it down. This is a concept and a truth that most believers do not have that understanding of. That life is spiritual in every way. In fact, when it has to do with the spirituality of life, every religion, I was studying to update my, myself as to how many religions we have in the world and... Um, as at the last time I checked, it was now about 4,200 religions. So some 200 people have added, the, you know, the experience to the list. 4,200 religions and counting. I can assure you that maybe except for a few, most of these religions believe that the foundation of an individual's consciousness, awareness, or excellence is from the realm of the spirit based on his ability to make contact with the realm of the spirit the three principal religions that came out from abraham christianity islam judaism all three agree all three agree that everything that a man has is derived from the extent the health and the quality of his spirituality life and living is spiritual please write it down life and living is spiritual as simple as this concept is you can spend your life in total defeat and failure not knowing that life is spiritual we live in a world that celebrates intellect and that is wonderful we live in a world that celebrates science and that is wonderful but i must tell you that everyone who has done anything worthwhile on earth beyond beyond a normal human frequency would agree that they outsource their intelligence or whatever advantage they had from the realm of the spirit whether it's a scientist whether it's a religious leader the faith life is no exception life is spiritual romans chapter 1 and verse 20 the bible says for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. He said the invisible things from creation are now seen, they are manifest by the things that are visible. So the Bible tells us that there are two realms and two dimensions of reality. There is what we call the invisible realm. Take note, invisible with respect to your seeing, Invisible does not mean unreal. Invisible and visible. That means for every material thing that appears, listen carefully, there is an invisible dimension and an invisible component to it. It was Apostle James who was teaching us on faith and works, chapter 2 and verse 26 of James. And he borrowed a phenomenon to help us understand faith and works. And here's what he said, for as the body without the spirit is dead so faith without works is dead so anybody body there means any material vessel that does not have a spirit component back in it it does not have life are we together body there does not just mean a human body no your business is a body your ministry is a body everything is a body if you cannot show the spirit that empowers it then it is dead that means the formula for destroying any body is to create a system of separating it from the spirit that backs it. Is that true? When you want to save a man from tragedy, you call it deliverance. How do you save that man? Because the conditions, that the physical conditions are bodies and there is a spirit that is giving that condition life. So until you create a system of separating that body from the spirit, 
that body or that condition will still be alive i hope you know that bodies here don't just mean material human bodies troubles are bodies there is a spirit that gives them life and for as long as that spirit has not been separated from that condition it will continue to act as though it is a living thing very powerful life is spiritual second corinthians chapter 4 and verse 18 the bible says while we look not at the things which are seen but the things which are unseen i would always bring your attention to this unseen does not mean unreal please look at me if i ask you to describe for me everything you can see on this stage you most likely will this will be talking about the monitors maybe the fans the flowers and so on and so forth but the bible tells us that in mount zion there are many other things you are not seeing the bible says there is within the midst of god's people an innumerable company of angels question where are they just because your physical sight cannot capture them does not mean they are not there because in the course of every service you will see operations whose origin is not physical you for instance when someone starts shouting under the anointing who touched the person you have a neighbor and you can't see anything between two of you so what is responsible for that extra phenomenon it tells you that there is more than you can see life is spiritual hebrews 11 and verse 3 through faith the bible says we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of the things which do appear do you know what that means the mother that gave birth to anything physical is invisible the Bible is saying that everything you see in your physical realm is only a child that the mother that gave birth to that child and continues to give birth to that child you call your physical realities is the realm of the spirit write this down please the realm of the spirit governs the physical realm very simple it will never never change whether you are interested in being spiritual or not this is an, an information that your life depends on the realm of the spirit governs the physical realm